Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we can convert a parametric equation into a Cartesian equation. And I've got two examples here. The second example is a lot harder though to do than the first one. Now when we're trying to get the Cartesian equation what we've got to do is eliminate the parameter in this case the parameter is t between the two equations we're looking to get an equation involving just y and x and to do this in the first one this is a fairly basic one just to get started what I would do is I'd write the two equations out again we've got x equals 2t plus 3 and we've got y equals t squared and I would number them 1 and 2 just for reference. Now what we need to do is take the easier of these two equations and it has to be number 1 to make t the subject. It's a linear equation rather than the quadratic equation here so I would say to the reader which equation I'm looking at and in this case it's from 1 and I'd make t the subject. I'll do that by subtracting 3 from both sides and dividing by 2 and that would mean that t equals x minus 3 all divided by 2 and with this equation I can substitute t in terms of x into 2 so again I would say that I'd just say sub into 2 and what would I get? well we'd have y equals t squared which is going to be x minus 3 all squared over 2 squared so we have x minus 3 all squared over 2 squared which we might as well write as 4 and I'd leave it like that that's fine for our Cartesian equation now when it comes to this second one here as I said earlier it is a lot harder to do you might like to have a go though okay but what I'm going to do is just write these equations out here and number them 1 and 2 again now how are we going to eliminate t between these well because t occurs a couple of times in each one of these equations here it becomes quite awkward to eliminate if you try and make t the subject from this one or this one. So the way around this is to notice that we can eliminate say this term here the plus 1 over t term with this term here just by simply adding the two equations together. So if we do add them together let's just say we do 1 plus 2 what does that give us? Well, we'll have x plus y equals, and then we've got this t plus this t, so that's going to be 2t, and we're adding them because 1 over t added to minus 1 over t just cancels it out. So what we can do from this equation is now make t the subject. Well, we'll have to come down here so if we make t the subject by dividing both sides by 2 we end up with t equaling x plus y all divided by 2. Now I can substitute this either into this equation here or this equation here 1 or 2. It's up to you. I'll substitute it into say equation 1 here which is this one here. Okay. And you might like to try substituting 2 and see how you get on. So let's say sub into equation 1. So we've got x equals t, t being the x plus y over 2. And then we're adding 1 over t. Now when we do 1 over t for this, it's going to be 2 over x plus y. We can invert it. So let's just write that in there. Now we could leave it like this. We've got a Cartesian equation. We've eliminated the parameter. But we might like to just carry on cleaning this up. And we could multiply each of the 
three terms by 2 and x plus y, 2 bracket x plus y. So when we get to this one, we're going to have 2x bracket x plus y equals, and when we take this term and multiply it by 2 bracket x plus y, the 2 gets cancelled, and we have x plus y all squared. And for this term, the x plus y gets cancelled, and we end up with 2 times 2, which is 4. And I'd multiply this out. So we therefore have 2x squared plus 2xy equals, and if we square the bracket, we're going to get x squared plus an xy and another xy, that's 2xy, and then plus the last term squared, y squared, and then the plus 4. And you'll notice now this is quite nice because the two xy's are the same on both sides of the equal, so they get cancelled. We can take x squared from both sides and we get x squared. We end up with equals y squared plus 4. And we could subtract 4 from both sides and we end up with y squared equals x squared minus 4. And I'd leave it like that. That looks quite nice. And we have our Cartesian equation. OK, so I hope that's given you some idea where we have the very easy substitution here. But in this kind of setup, you might have to modify the equations to eliminate one of the t terms. OK?